Welcome to our quick overview of HubSpot Marketing Hub. My name is Jillian, and I'm a marketing and sales system consultant at Cargus. Over the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through the features and capabilities of HubSpot's marketing automation software, HubSpot Marketing Hub. Marketing automation is a widely available category of business software that manages leads and campaigns across multiple channels. Companies have used marketing automation software to completely streamline the sales funnel. And HubSpot is a leader in marketing automation, especially for small to mid-sized businesses. I'd love to give you a quick tour of what you can expect from HubSpot's marketing hub. To start with, you should know that HubSpot is designed to be easy to use and intuitive. There's a navigation bar at the top and you'll always stay within this browser. There's never any new windows and the design never feels disjointed. To start with, HubSpot is organized along the top, starting with contacts. Contacts dropdown includes contacts, companies, and other information. Target accounts can be especially useful if your business focuses on larger accounts. You'll also locate the lists here, which is where you can create lists of contacts, companies, and these lists can either be static which is you create the lists yourselves manually or dynamic where the lists constantly populate and change depending on contact or company criteria. The conversations menu enables users to take control of all communication with your audience. You can set up a shared email inbox, templatize standardized language for your sales team using the snippets area, or you can create pop-ups on your website or landing pages to engage with your visitors. This feature is known as a chat flow. As a Marketing Hub user, I typically spend most of my time in the marketing section, especially in emails, landing pages, and marketing campaigns. As a Marketing Hub user, I tend to spend most of my time in this marketing section, especially in emails, landing pages, or campaigns. This part of HubSpot is where you'll launch new emails, update your social media accounts, manage your blog if you have one, and interact with your campaigns. Let's talk about segmentation. HubSpot makes segmentation a breeze for marketers and sales teams using contact views as well as lists. Right now, we're in a contact view, and this is where you'd be able to see your overall audience. Some basic views include all contacts, my contacts, unassigned contacts, and you can easily build a list that's relevant to your current search or what you need to look up. Using all filters, you can define a segment based on camp contact activity, deal information, contact information of the contact themselves. List building is just as easy. Within HubSpot, you have the choice to have a static or active list. With static lists, you can select exactly who you want to be on a certain list. With active lists, you can define the criteria using a set of filters, and the contact list will evolve based on who qualifies for a list and who does not. Not all marketers are web designers, and that's okay. A landing page is a specific page on your website where you can collect visitors' contact information in exchange for a resource, like a pricing page or an ebook download. Landing pages can be used in exchange for emails, names, company names, phone numbers, or more to create a lead in your system. Using HubSpot, marketers can easily spin up a new website landing page with HubSpot's landing page and form builders. Let's explore forms. Under lead capture into forms, we can build a custom form to place on our website or embed on a landing page. The form editor is easy to use and you can quickly drag in the information you would like to collect. Here I'm dropping in first name, last name, and I'll also ask for a mobile phone number. Email is always required on a HubSpot form. This is to make sure you can make a connection with your new contact and dedupe easily. Once the form has been published, you can take the form and embed it on your website 
or you can also drop it onto an existing landing page. HubSpot is more than an email tool, but it is one of the most defining features of the HubSpot Marketing Hub. Creating an email is straightforward and anyone can do it. In the top right here, click create an email and we're gonna create a regular email. HubSpot has a library of templates you can pick from and customize to match your company's information. Once you're happy with your email, head over to settings and include things like your from name, from address, and subject line. You can also add personalization for that subject line so that your subject line is even more attention grabbing. Under send and schedule, you can select your recipients and also the list of people you do not want to receive this email. You can send now or schedule for later. Once emails are sent, you're able to analyze emails overall or zero in on specific email campaigns. One of the most powerful features using HubSpot is its workflow creation. Workflows do a number of things, ranging from sending emails to editing contact information or applying relevant information to your database. Let's take a look at a sample workflow. In this one, we can make sure that any new contact will automatically be entered into this workflow. We're gonna wait 20 minutes and we can send them a new email welcoming them to our database. Workflows can also add in additional actions. So you can have multiple branches depending on the actions you need to take. You can communicate with your internal team to notify them of a hot lead or a new lead in their name. You can also send a series of emails to specific contacts based on what they qualify for. If you'd like to learn more about any of the marketing automation features you saw today, or if you have any questions about anything you didn't see, reach out to our team using the contact form on our website at cargus.com forward slash contact. Thanks for watching.